Yo, so at a certain point of your creative career, if you build a fan base, you're gonna be able to release merch. We recently just did our first drop. So in this video, I wanna show you guys what the process of that was, beginning to end, so that eventually you guys can do the same. Now there's two ways to go about it. You can buy all your inventory before the drop, or you can do the pre-order method, which is pretty much, you know, you make your website go live, you wait a couple of days for the orders to come in, and then you can see how many people want that, and then you place the order. The method that I'm gonna talk about in this video is gonna be the pre-order method, since this was my first time, so I needed to see what my audience's interests were and how many people would actually buy. But before going forward, I just wanna say that you do need a fan base. Like there's millions of people who start a clothing brand and hey, maybe this stuff is fire. But at the end of the day, you do need to build a brand that has fans who believe in the ideas of that brand. Now our brand is a hip hop media outlet and the meaning behind Kids Take Over is that the youth nowadays can achieve anything through the power of the internet. So in almost all of our content, we try to push that idea. If you were a 16 year old kid, right? I think it's just best off if young people just start their own thing. That's hard, bro. So the first thing I did was I said, hey, you know, let me make our first hoodie, just put our simple logo on it and then wear it in all the videos so that we can build hype on it while growing our actual fan base. Now designing the first one was easy because like I said, you can just go with your simple logo you know, you can use apps like Sketch, um, Illustrator, Photoshop. Wearing it in the content was obviously easy. And it got people asking me like every day, hey, where can I buy this hoodie? So the next thing I did was find out, all right, which blank hoodie brands do I want to print on? There's Hanes, uh, Fruit of the Loom, All Style, Gildan. So once I chose that, I had to find a manufacturer that will make my hoodies with the logo in bulk. Now, this took a lot of phoning around um, to different places. And I'd say the thing that you should look for the most is how cheap can they make everything? Everything, what the quality is, how quick is their turnaround time, and lastly, how many things can they do? Because for instance, some people will order their blank hoodies from one company, get the screen printing done from another company, and then um, get like the custom size labels made from another company. Now that's three different companies doing three different jobs, meaning that you'll have to wait even longer. Now the next step for me, which this is the part that actually interests me a lot, is uh, figuring out how to brand it. Now you can release your clothing drop like just like that if you want, but are people actually going to be convinced to buy something? Probably not. So I created an actual theme behind this drop and it was called the OG drop. Basically, this is for the first batch of people who up until this point have been following along our journey. We branded it as like very exclusive and that these won't drop again. That way people feel like they're really part of the select few people who will always have this and can brag to other people that they're the OG fans. Then the colors also do play a role in it. Um, as you can see, the hoodies behind me. Um, I figured let's do the forest green that one is the most hype because i actually wear it and all the content and then i said hey let's do a black because that's just like the easiest to rock and then i was like let's do one that's totally left field but still looks dope appeals to both genders which was the pink here's another color we tested with it was like a slime green color and then some custom samples that i gave to influencers if you can guess who we gave these to let me know in the comments and we even created cards with a pre-written message about how much we appreciate uh, the og fans and luckily for me is like yeah this is a big tip you got to really look at all the resources you have right all right so i'm actually at a printing store the funny thing is is my dad owns this store so i'm gonna get cards made for all of the orders and then i'm gonna have like personalized ones for all the influencers i'm giving it out to like pierre and whatnot um but i'm also gonna get stickers made that say kt on it so um, i'm gonna go in the shop right now All right, now that I've branded it, I gotta figure out the marketing aspect of it. Like, what's the rollout gonna be? So the OG drop is all about, you know, the very, very first drop. It's for all the people who have been following along the journey. So for that reason, we made a promo video that shows me in a rusty clothing factory, hand printing the clothes by myself.
but I'll probably do a breakdown of how we filmed our, our promo video, like fully on our Instagram. Just check that out tomorrow. We filmed that. I had to take the product photos so that I can make the day of post. This is the post that has all the clothes laid out and then it has a website link and uh, I'll need the product photos for my website as well. This is low key hard because you need to buy um, a white background, which is expensive by the way. And you literally got to iron the clothes so, so well. Otherwise it'll look like wrinkly in the pictures. And the lighting also has to be great with no shadows. Like everything has to be symmetrical. It's just, it's not as easy as you think. But so we got the product photos. Um, and next thing we got to do is the website, right? I bought my domain and then decided to use Shopify. I highly recommend you guys using Shopify just because they just made everything really easy to use. And I think if you just watch a tutorial on it, like you should be good. But one thing that I will say is to figure out how to get your products up on Instagram shop. I did this the night before our drop thinking like it was just gonna be pretty easy. It literally made me want to like bang my head on a wall because I was up till 4 a.m. just trying to figure out all these little technical difficulties with the domain connecting to Facebook. Like I'm just recommending you guys to figure that out in advance because it really does help if you put a post up on Instagram and you can just directly go from there to the Shopify. People are just tend to buy things like that way easier. But then came the day where I had to actually open my site and wow, like I just, I didn't expect people to go this nuts. You know, it was one of those feelings that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I announced the site to be open just for three days. You know, that way it could be super limited. And within the first 10 minutes of that drop, like there were so many sales, man. All you could hear is this satisfying ass notification every time someone buys something. Hold on, I gotta find it. Is that not satisfying to you? Like I would be hearing that over and over and over again and I'll never get to like, experience that first feeling again. Now that those three days were up, right? Then came the most stressful times of my life. I counted up all the hoodies you guys bought and I placed the order with my manufacturer, right? He said it would take him about a week max to order everything and you know, have it screen printed. Um, then I'd ship it out, which would take like a week, let's say. So all together um, from you guys ordering, it would take about two weeks to get to you guys. And that's not that bad. Well. I got a call from my manufacturer um, the day I placed the order and he's like, hey man, I can order the black and the greens, but the pink colorway is all out of stock in all of Canada. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name just out of respect, but telling me that last minute really, really fucked everything up. And he told me it was because of pink shirt day. like. Come on, I guess that could be kind of my fault too, knowing that pink shirt day is coming up. But like, who keeps track of the fact that pink shirt day is gonna come up? I was so stressed because he said that it would take four weeks just for the pinks to come in. And you guys already placed your orders, so the last thing I want is a bunch of angry customers. Um, and I've been keeping up with, you know, people like uh, Lauren, um, not Lauren, Warren Lotus, his fans being super angry at him, always pressed at him. And imagine if that same shit happened to me, right? Like people that I have made are fans, you know, and now they just think that we don't know how to run our company. As those days went by, I was just like, you know, should I tell you guys? Should I wait a little bit and then see if things change? And then a week went by, right? And I got this text and the dude was like, yo, somehow we just managed to order in the pinks and they're coming in today. So that was the biggest, hugest sign of relief for me. But yeah, that wasn't it. That wasn't the only issues because when I got the hoodies, I noticed that a good amount of them um, were messed up. The lettering was off, things like that. And there was no way that I was gonna sell that to you guys. So I had to like argue back and forth about replacing them with new ones. And the tough part is man, like in this business, you're gonna have moments where you're like buddy buddy with someone and then they fuck something up and then that just ruins the entire thing. And it's so awkward, man, but you being the leader of everything, you just gotta like take those hits. Sometimes you just gotta end up paying for things out of your own pocket to fix a situation. So it is what it is, you know, it happened. But then even more issues, man, like, I'm at home, right? I'm packaging everything. I had my whole family helping me out. I had a stack of cards, right? That I got printed out with a pre-written message for all the customers who bought it. And then I had another stack of cards for the influencers that I was giving out the hoodies to, right? Those cards had um, a very specific personalized messages that I wrote for all of them. So me, you know, thinking about 30 different things at once, being an absolute idiot, I mixed the customer cards with the influencer ones 
and what the, the light ran out I'm like someone kill me because I, I'm just an idiot for this so some of you will be getting the card that was made for Pierre Bourne so the only way to fix that were to be if I opened every single package up, tried to find those cards, take them out, put the right ones in, reorder my supplies, package everything up. And yeah, like at that point, I just made a choice. I was like, just to keep my sanity, let's not go through that hassle. And let me just, you know, include it in this video and let you guys know. Um, so yeah, if you did end up getting like Pierre Bourne's card or like luxury tax or Ken Carson like my bad although I think that's kind of cool too so now at this point everything is shipped out and I feel much more at ease right but then again like you always got to be prepared for something to go wrong for all I know someone's shipment in Australia could get lost um, in the ocean on a boat or something like there's just something that's gonna go wrong basically so from here in that entire process that I just told you guys you can definitely follow those steps as well but I want to give you the the main takeaways from all of this all right the first thing always leave room for error whether that's leaving an hour early to the post office before it closes or ordering five extra hoodies from your own pocket just in case um, you know something goes wrong because like I said a bunch of times something will go wrong number two I'd say to be organized one little mistake and everything is up after that like you saw with the cards make sure you're keeping good track of what's being ordered switched around number three is to establish a good relationship with your manufacturer beforehand make sure it won't be someone who's just gonna flake on you last minute or do some unprofessional shit like sure if you go with someone a bit more professional your profit margins are gonna become a bit smaller but if you go with someone else right um, at the end of the day, you're gonna end up having to pay for all the mistakes that that less professional dude does. Number four, I'd say yes, pre-orders are super helpful for your first drop, okay? Like I even recommend it, but try your best after that to steer towards the conventional route, which is, you know, just buy all of your clothes and stuff and make everything in advance. Because if you do a pre-order, as soon as someone orders something right each day that goes by that customer is waiting for their stuff and if you have issues where there's a delay on your order or or whatever right that's just more and more and more days for your customer to wait if you have your stock there it's like you won't face those same problems and you won't be stressed like the stress after a pre-order is 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 tough number five the last thing i'll say is just to be prepared for people to ask you for free shit but learn how to say no because at the end of the day this shit is expensive let's say a hoodie cost you 50 bucks right if people are asking you for a free hoodie you know they're basically asking you like hey can you give me 50 bucks and like that's pretty weird right like your friends wouldn't do that random people definitely wouldn't do that that's just kind of rude right so just be straightforward with them let them know that you can't um because you're not really going to end up making profit however to that point i would say don't be greedy when it comes to giving away samples to the right people influencers will help your drop we ship stuff out to like i said pure born a bunch of other people that i have you know somewhat of a relationship with let's say they take a picture with it you know how that that's gonna do for my next drop like just don't be greedy when it comes to that but if it's just your homies like they should be paying anyways guys that's it that was the entire process let me know if you enjoyed stuff like this i'm Arshan, and you guys are watching behind the scenes Yo guys, thanks for watching that video. Just wanna say we're doing a giveaway right now. Um, to one person in the comments, comment anything and you're gonna win a piece from our next drop. We're already working on that, it's gonna be sick. But um, let's do the top comment of the week. So on the last video, Jay's uh, World commented, no cap, watching HTO grow is big inspiration to me because I remember you guys were literally small as hell and now y'all got 31,000 and I've interviewed like real deal type people. Um, yo, man, I really appreciate that. And if it wasn't for you guys who like comment and stuff, like it, like we just wouldn't grow, right? So I appreciate that. And if you guys want to watch our last video, go ahead. The subscribe button is also somewhere over here.